Hi guys, this is Dana with Engadget, and I'm here with the AMD Live Box. This is a mini desktop with AMD innards, and it's interesting to us for a couple reasons. One, AMD hasn't really been a big player in the mini desktop space, and also it has a very unique form factor. Aside from the fact that it's just so miniature, it has this two-pronged outlet plug here that just allows you to plug it into just any standard um, any standard outlet. So that, that's very interesting to us, and it's obviously very convenient for both consumers and whatever businesses or schools choose to make use of this. So I want to give you a quick walkthrough of the design. Starting with what's inside, there is an x86 based 1 gigahertz AMD C60 APU combined with 1 gigabyte of RAM and AMD Radeon HD 6200 graphics. So those are the ingredients for this machine here. And then if you take a quick tour around the outside, you'll see there isn't too much to look at. There's the power button, of course, which you'll see glows green when on. There is an SD slot. If you turn it this way, you'll see a pair of USB 2.0 ports, an HDMI socket, and gigabit Ethernet. And then flip it over and you'll see a SIM slot. So this supports quad band 3G, that's WCDMA. So that's basically the hardware. So let's pan out here and we'll talk about just a little bit about what it can do. Here at AMD's booth at Computex, it's hooked up to a monitor and it's outputting 1080p video to the screen you see here. And if you take a look along with us, you'll see the video quality is pretty smooth and we've been watching for several minutes and we haven't seen any issues with ghosting or stuttering or any sluggishness or anything like that. So we assume that um, if, it, if it can output 1080p video fairly smoothly that it should be able to handle basic desktop needs as well, whether it's email or word processing. So that should come in handy for basic consumers and what as well as say computer labs and schools. The big question here is how much it's going to cost and how widely available it's going to be. And those are two questions AMD isn't ready to answer just yet. So we'll be curious to see how the price and availability compare to other desktops on the market, whether it's the Mac Mini or the Chromebox even running Chrome OS and just other miniature PCs we've been seeing lately. So stay tuned on that front and in the meantime, enjoy.